till I finally get it to run. Let's get it. What's up, BSG? So, today we're going to get into uh, trying to get this Mustang going again. So, a piece that we needed that I've been told by um, Holly, because I talked to them, and um, they said one piece is probably going in and out, and that's this piece right here. This piece is the problem piece from what they're, what they're saying. So, let's get this piece on and see where we're going. So, my tool of the day is this little guy right here. I had to go buy this piece just, just to uh, make this thing work. So, here's what we're gonna do. So, put this piece in there like that. We got two bolts. We got a small one there and a small one there. I don't even know the size of it. But, I need this wrench in order to get in here and get this thing off. That's loose. I don't even know what I'm gonna do about this one over here. Now we turn it to the side here. Okay, bam. So we got that off. So we got it broke. So let me take this here and keep trying to get this thing here off. Let me see if I can hit y'all with some more light here. I think I need to turn this like this here. Pop this off. Turn it back. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Get that. Put that right there. That one's out as well. Okay, now, as you see here, these prongs are standing up. So that means it's going up into the distributor right here. So I'm gonna have to pull that off. And you see how it's set up already like this? The button here is out. Well, we're gonna put it back on just like that. All right, so there we go, like, just like that. Right, came right off. And it has grease on it, on the back of it. So I'm gonna see if we, uh, I see something that's in this pack, this pack right here, so let's see what that is. All right, so here we go. So grease goes on here, this white stuff, and I need to get me a glove on. Let me get a glove. All right, so here we go. We're gonna slide it all over this thing here. I wanna say this dielectric grease, you know, to make a good connection to help out. All right, so we wipe that off on the pants there. So, put this back on here like this. Just slide it right up in there, bam. It's in there. Now, okay. 
Okay. Let's get this bottom one. Let's slide you over a little bit. I think finger tight is all you need. Turn it this way here. Put it back there. And push it back like that. Let's see what we got. Let us see. Oh shit, she trying. She is trying. Let me uh let me get a little peck of the gas. And if it don't start this time, we're going to go. We're gonna make a call to what you call it. So, I am going to make a call to uh, Holly, and we're gonna get this get this thing on on uh, track. So, stand by for that call. Where would I find Static at? Or it's just Steady at hundred. Uh, I can't say if it is or not because. I kind of don't know what you're meaning by that. What uh, would I be able to reach? When when I'm starting it? Yeah. Uh, where would I see that at? So we need to go to monitor, multi gauge. Okay. Sensors. Okay, let's go back here. Let's go. Go monitor. Multi-gauge, you said sensors. Okay, TPS is at seven. Okay. Let's do a TPS auto set really quick. Okay. We want that to go to zero. Okay, so we're going back all the way, go back all the way out of it? Yeah, back all the way out of it. And go to Wizards and then TPS Auto Set. Okay, Wizard TPS Auto Set. Okay. Oh. Okay. Uh, hold on. Let me get this going here because I I just goofed it up. Okay. Wizard TPS Auto TPS Auto Set. Make sure ignition is on. Engine is not started. Okay. Go start. Okay. Press pedal to the floor slowly, then release. Okay. One, two, next. Okay, TPS auto set was successful. Okay, done. Now go back to All monitor. Right, let's go back to monitor, multi gauge, multi -gauge sensors. sensors. Okay, it's at zero. All right, let's crank it over. All right. She want to start. She want to start. What's the next? What kind of injectors do you have in it? Regular 19 pound injectors. Okay. You have 
having any starting fluid laying around? I do. Cleaner? I do. Let's take the intake tube off of it. Let's spray a little bit of that down my throttle body. Let's see what that does. Okay. But I don't have the intake tube on anyway. So, okay. got this starter fluid. How much I need to spread this stuff? Cause I got it going. Just a little bit. Uh, give it two good squirts. Two good squirts. There we go. There we go. Two good squirts. All right. Let's go back and get do this starting over again. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Nope. Didn't make any kind of difference? Nope. Didn't make no difference whatsoever. Okay. What's your map sensor rating? Okay. Map is in sensors, right? Okay. Okay. Map is at 99. KPA. Crank it over and tell me if it moves any. Nope. Didn't move at all. On your ECU, you have that little blue hose that comes off of it. Do you have that ran to anything? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Run to the back of the um, intake. Mm -hmm. Okay, just making sure. All right. Well, there's nothing that would keep it from running. Our TPS is reading zero. Our map is reading. Um, we're getting fuel. We know we're getting plenty of air. Okay, now you did verify spark. I'm looking at There's, ignition timing. Be timing related then at this point. I'm looking at ignition timing on the on the um, Terminal X. It says 15. Uh -huh. Is that a, a issue, or do once I get it running, then we'll match them match them up? Well. It depends on if you've done a static timing check or not and what you said ignition timing used to be. Mm-hmm. So, so can I, let me, if I adjust the, the, uh, the distributor, would that make a, that should make a difference, correct? Let me, me back out of this again. Okay. Oh, come on now, stop it. Back up. Back up. Okay, tuning. Then where we go? System. System. Okay. DC static timing. I see ignition setup. Nope. And and again, this thing here be jumping around as well. So should I back back all the way out of it? Should I redo it? Yeah, back all the way out of it and go to let's go to Wizards. Okay, Wizard. Is static timing in that window? Nope. It just got G GCF, Wizard, and TPS auto set. Tuning. Okay. Go to basic. Basic idle. Or basic fuel. Is there a spark icon there? Yep. Go to that. Click on that. Okay. Spark. Okay. Have your ignition timing set for it idle. Idle timing is 
12 degrees. Still there? Yeah, I'm still oh, here. Okay. All right. I'm just trying to see where the static timing window is on the terminator X handheld. I don't have one here in front of me. Okay. Let me cut this off. Tuning. Go to advanced. advanced. Tell me what options are in there. We got advanced fuel. We got closed loop. We got closed loop two. We got advanced learning. We got advanced idle. Okay. Go back and then go to advanced two. Advanced. You said okay, go back. He said go advanced two. No, sir. So closed loop okay. two. Oh, I forgot to tell you, we're working on a Mustang as well. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. All right, give me one second. I'll be right back with you. Okay. Oh, my God. All right, so you'll see what I'm going through. There's something going on here that is not my problem. But then again, it is my problem because I can't get this thing running. So we are going to get it running. And uh, I'm going to get back to y'all as soon as we get this thing going. All right. Cause she ain't ran in a while plus it's a new motor so we got some adjustments to make but it's running i'm gonna explain y'all what i did to get it running and uh we'll go from there all right so let me make some adjustments and uh i'm gonna get back to y'all take a little time but we got it done In the system, I had to sync right there. I had to sync the timing along with with, uh, with my car, and then once I did that, she she fired right up, man. Only thing now we got to do is that we have to we have to get the get it up to temperature and get it to learning, and then uh, once we do that. 
then she's gonna be uh she's gonna be good to go but it's gonna be a minute though man before i even get it out because i got so much stuff going on right now with that work and uh trying to get out the army so what i'm gonna do though i am going to start it up every day and i'm going to let it run that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna start up every day and let it run now my next project as you can see all my all my uniforms and stuff like that i'm going to do a turn in is this truck right here we're going to get this mug back running well it runs we just got to put the exhaust on it and put some fluids in it and then we're going we're going we're going to get this mug back running we're going to move it we're going to move this truck here back over here and we're going to clean up all of this crap here put it back on that truck and then we're going to get into some body work yep that's what we're going to do yep we are, that's what we're going to do i appreciate y'all hanging in there with me man uh going through the process of me learning how to get this system up uh uh holly had a big part in it helping me get this thing right but i didn't know what was going on and all it was was, was timing like with everything else timing 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 also this thing here was running a little hot but i gotta see what the deal is i didn't have my cap tight for one and when i cut it off i heard that water in there boiling so i gotta figure that one out also i did a little bypass right here and this thing here is leaking so i'm about to figure out something like with that and get it uh get it right as you can see down in there i don't know if you can but maybe you can see down there you see that antifreeze right there it's coming up through this pump so we're gonna figure that one out yep. we got to figure that one out it's leaking down there somewhere so we're gonna figure that one out but hey with that being said, if you got a project, man, you're working on and you stump, don't give up. Keep going, keep going, keep going. And uh, you, it, it'll work out. I'm telling you, it will work out. One thing I got to do with this, another thing I got to do with this, this car is, I, I hear uh, some exhaust leaks up in here. So I got to I gotta uh, tighten some stuff up on that. But other than that, we'll be ready to roll this, this summer in this one yes sir this summer we are going to roll no questions about it well, i gotta get my my plate put on it but we're going to roll this summer we still got a few things to do on this car once we uh get it running to where we need to be running i got a new top i need to put on here i, I need to get it repainted and i want some new rims for it but that's that's down the line that is down the line and we're gonna get there all right I gotta adjust the windows on this thing too as well. But yes sir. We got a couple we got a few more things we're gonna do to this car. Uh it ain't over. It's never over. It is not over. The party is not over. Alright? So we're gonna get down with this one here. And uh we're gonna get some sounds in it. We're gonna do a whole a few more things, but it's gonna take some time. Alright? So that being said, like, comment, subscribe. Do not give up on your projects. Get in the garage, get in the grind mode.